what's the answer you would give them if they're like, how do I gain more confidence? It starts with yourself, man. You gotta start diving into those things that you are afraid of. You don't gain confidence by going to the spot that makes you feel good. It's gonna be a false reality. And the second life gives you that challenge is facing these things, overcoming them. And maybe not overcoming them every day, but facing them and facing them and facing them. Pretty soon like this, you know what, man, this is where it's at. Mm. It's not in that comfort zone. It's in the discomfort zone is where my confidence is getting built. Mm -hmm. That's where it's getting built. You have to face yourself. So many people live to be 100 years old and they die miserable having everything because they never examined. I call it my live autopsy. Mm. You never examine this. Happiness, peace, enlightenment, it's all up here, man. It's all up here. If I start talking like this, people go, man, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's the truth, man. Yeah, it is true. It's yeah. all up here. <laughs> you just gotta be willing to go and face it. And that's the hard part. Everybody's got a story. We don't share it on social media. We share our nice life on social media. We have, we all have a dungeon. I'm just willing to talk about mine. Yeah. Most of us aren't willing to talk about it. Life is one big mind game. Yeah. And you're playing it with yourself. Is it true? I don't care. It got me through the hardest training, starting out broken. Mm. Where most people quit, I had just started. Wow. And when you take that mindset and you learn to flip that around, that's what made me powerful. I'm just saying that when the mind and the body connect and you didn't and you don't give yourself a way out, the only way out for me at that time was death. Wow. I'm going to be a Navy SEAL. Or I'm going to die. Or I'm going to die trying. Yeah. Period. And my body said, Roger that. We're going to get you through this. <laughs> so when the mind gives it no way out, no way out, your body says, okay, okay, I believe you now. I have to heal. I'm going to figure this out with you. We're yes. going to do this. It's going to be the, the worst part of your life, but we're going to, you're going to survive. We're going to survive. The, the world is too noisy. Your mind needs quiet for you to find who you are. People ask, what's my purpose? Why am I here? You're not going to find it nowadays unless you lock yourself in a quiet room in your mind and find it. It's too noisy. For me, I could be in a busy street in New York City, horns honking, and I'm walking around with like nothing. It's me and myself yeah. in a quiet spot. And when you are constantly reflecting on who you are, where you've been, the journey you've gone through, the journey you can continue going through. The feeling's always there. You don't allow the world to pull you so fast that you forget. You don't allow yourself to pull you so fast that you forget. It's not about staying in that moment. It's about you want to get to the point where that feeling follows you like breathing. Mm. It becomes a part of your life, a part of your DNA. But it's made. Like these calluses on my hands right now, mm -hmm. they're made. Yeah. They are now on my brain. This is now a part of me. 